let's try this again first of all i'm sorry my green screen the sun is literally setting right there in my window i need to get some curtains to put up there ass i mean ssa <laughs> they're fast you gotta be fast to get ssa they're fast as soon as they get a call that scares them they're done they shut their number down which means the people that report these calls have probably called them out for being a scam otherwise they would not be reported i called numbers literally four minutes after i get them and they're down finally got a number it was like within the first minute i called it i got them <laughs> And I got them. <laughs> so there's a backstory to one of my previous calls. It was right before I went on vacation. Um, I, I recorded a call. I was on the phone with him for a couple of hours. I ran over a man. I got in a fight with people behind the counter. Alice. Um, Alice gets in a fight with people behind the counter. I'm trying to buy gift cards. As soon as I knew I had them on the hook, I could start messing with them. You know what? I'm not even I'm not even going to tell you what happened. You got to watch to find out. I had some fun with them though. And at the end, the lady was like, "You and that man have been messing with me. Have been playing games with me." It's only me here. Granted, I cheat a little bit, you know. I use a couple voices. Uh oh, and by the way, PCH, I'm going to give them a break for a minute. I've been hitting them hard. I've been hitting them real hard. Um, so I'm just going to let them chill. There's police going by if you can hear that, but I'm going to let them chill for a minute. Uh, let them regain their confidence and then I'm going to fuck them up again. So, um, if the videos slow down, I've been posting a lot of videos lately. Um, it takes up hours and hours of my time. If the videos slow down for a minute, give it a week or two. No, not even two weeks. I'm not going two weeks. Uh, there will be videos in between, but PCH may be slow for a minute. I just got to let them regain their confidence because I've been them up they'll be back so uh anyways i always talk too much i'm not gonna talk too much please 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 don't forget to like subscribe and comment um it helps me and i just i like interacting with you if you want to donate to the channel alice margo or scammer takeout the buy me a coffee link will be in the description let's get to the video social security administration i'm healthy yes i had a call about some some kind of fraudulent activity on my on my social security number they said they were going to terminate my number okay and apart from that you got any reference id number my reference id number my social my social yes. well i just pulled up information and here according to the file as i can see the reason behind this call was to inform you that there are some legal enforcement action which we file on your social security number. We have got an order from the higher authority to go ahead and suspend your social because we found many suspicious activities done under your social. Someone is misusing your social security number for identity and had committed many fraudulent activities in the state of Texas. Are you aware about this situation, ma'am? No, no, I'm not, sir. Uh, can you tell me? Have you ever been to the state of Texas? I've never been out of Georgia. I've been to Alabama, but I've never gone to Texas. I don't know anybody okay. that's in Texas. That's, this don't make sense. All right, now, before we proceed further, I want you to grab a piece of paper and pen so that you can write down some information. Okay, give me just a minute. He had me write down a bunch of fake information. All right, so what kind of trouble am I in? Am I looking at federal charges? Yeah, uh, I will let you know, ma'am. Now, I will go ahead and read out the information what is exactly wrong with your social in the state of Texas. All right. While I'm giving you the information, I don't want you to interrupt me. Just listen to me very carefully. If you have any doubt, any question, you can ask me once I'm done giving you the information. Yes, sir. Am I clear on that? Yes. Okay. Now, the investigation was started when we found an abandoned car on the south border of Texas. Damn it, it's always Texas. It contained some blood and drugs residues inside it. Well, that took a dark turn. Oh, Hence, after goodness. further investigation, we found that the car was registered under your name and your personal social information. There were also two. To save time, there was a house in South Texas. Linked to the title of the car, the U.S. Marshals raided it, 
found two pounds of nobody in the house we pick up from there they opened a um a house lane on my name exactly ma'am i told oh you not goodness. to interrupt me oh i will give goodness. you enough your chance to speak ma'am Thousands of dollars has been wired from those bank accounts locally and internationally. That is the reason we as the Social Security Administration has filed a case against you for direct trafficking and as well as money laundering. We're skipping the rest of this. Let's talk about the money. We just need to make sure that your new Social Security number is linked with all your assets and all your financials and all your personal information. So may I know how many bank accounts do you have? I have two. Like, that you are I, using currently. I have a Bank of America and I have a Chase. And how much money do you have in your checking account? The checking is $9,228.94. All right. And in your savings? My savings is Bank of America. That one's sixty-three thousand four hundred and seventy-seven dollars and twenty-two cents. Okay. All right. So thank you so much for verifying this information with me. Now, may I know? Do you have a car? Do you drive? Do you yes. know how to drive? You drive by yourself? Yes, I have a Toyota Corolla. I can drive myself. You have a Toyota Corolla? Yes, a two thousand twelve okay. Toyota Corolla. All right, so stay connected with me, okay? Yes. Miss Marco, I want you to understand one thing that right now, like I've said, you are in the verge of being getting arrested for drug trafficking and money laundering, and your information has been misused. Now, we do not know who is trying to use your information. It could be anyone, any of your friends, family members, neighbors. Right. So, just, yeah. So that's the reason until and unless we come to a conclusion or have a lead on the suspect, you have to make sure that you are not at all discussing this information to any third person. They always swear you to secrecy. That's something to note. SSA is not going to call you. You just got to know what to look out for. Look for the red flags. They always swear you to secrecy. To the gift card section. Since you are already cooperating with us and you have been truthful with us and uh, trying to explain whatever situation happened in your life, even though it is like 42, 40 years behind or 40 years ago, you have been explaining everything to us. That's why we're going to give you a chance in order to secure your money before we suspend your social. And when I talk about securing your money, that means Right now, the money that you have in your Chase and in your Bank of America, it will be regarded as an illegal money, like a black money. Right. Yes, because the criminal had already been misused your information and it has already been linked with your current social. But we have to convert that into legal money and then it will be linked with your new social so that you can use that money later on in your life for your health, for your um, expenses and everything. So for that, what you need to do is that you need to register those money with the help of the government certified voucher. Now, when I talk about government certified voucher, it comes under different kind of prepaid card. Do you do you know what is a prepaid card? Uh, I don't know. Okay, so I would like to know what is the closest store, like. Which grocery store There's you go for shopping? Like for okay, so prepaid cards. What what card are we looking for? Yeah, I got you on speaker now. All right. So once you are ready to move out, let me know. All right. Oh. I'm sorry? I'm going to my car now. Where? I'm going to my car now. Oh, okay. Once you're seated in your car, let me know. Yes. Okay. I'm, 
I'm driving now. Okay, now keep your phone in speaker, okay? While you are driving, no need to talk with me, okay? Yes. Once you reach the parking lot of the bank, pull over your car and let me know. Now, what you need to do is that you have to keep the phone as it is, like you have to keep your phone in speaker and do not hang up the call. Just keep your phone in your pocket or in your bag, all right? Okay. Now, when you enter in the bank, you have to go to the cash counter and you have to withdraw the funds in cash. Not a cashier check, but in cash. Okay. All, all right? of it. The, Ac the, the, according all the to the limit. See, listen, you have around $9,000 in your account. Do not withdraw all the cash. Just withdraw 9000 and leave the rest in your account so that your account will remain active until you complete your procedure and you receive your new social, okay? Okay. So now, in case if the bank say that you cannot able to provide you the whole cash of 9000 instead you can provide you 4000 or 5000 accordingly, you can just withdraw it as uh, your bank allows you the cash limit. But meanwhile... If your bank asks you the reason for what reason or purpose you are withdrawing this cash, then what you are going to tell them? Um, that my, there's some there's a problem with my social security number. No, 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 no. You are not supposed to say that. I told you it could be anyone, any of your friends, any of your family members, even the bank any of the employee of that particular bank might be involved in this case so that's why you are not supposed to say anything about this case anything about your social security problems so what, what you am need I to, supposed to tell what, them? you have you have to say something else like just say uh there is a renovation going on in your home or one of your niece or nephew needs some cash helping them you can make any reason or any yeah, good reason to withdraw the cash. Okay, well, sweetheart, I'm not good at lying, so I, I, we need to come up with a game plan. To, uh, just tell them, I'll tell them I'm buying my grandson a car. Oh, yeah, that will be great, yes. Uh, you can, yeah, you can use any excuse rather than this social know, security thing or like rather than, yes. I'm sorry? I'm putting you in my pocket right now. Okay. All right. It's it, it's nine thousand. It's out of out of the the my account number ending in nine five two. I just need to get that out so I can be on my way. They they're going to get the nine thousand right now. Hey, that's fine. You can do that in hundreds. That's fine. I don't need 20s or 50s. Just do the hundreds, please. Okay, okay. So, which store you say is closest to you? Like, from your bank? There's... There's a CVS. There's, okay, there's a CVS. Yes. Um, there's and? the CVS. There's a Kroger. Kroger. Um, there's Walmart. Walmart is also there. There's only one Walmart in your location, right? Yes. Yes, there is. You are in Riverdale, Georgia, correct? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, there's a Walmart on Highway 85. All right. I'm in the parking lot now. Yeah, all right. Now listen to me very carefully that I'm going to explain it to you, okay? Yes. You have to do the follow the same procedure. That means you have to keep your phone in speaker, put it in your pocket, or it's better you put it in your bag. Make sure to not let anyone know that you are on call with me, especially do the store people, okay? Okay. Because you will do anything to earn money. Now, what you need to do is that you have to go to the card section. You know where where is the card rack section, right? Where they used to keep different kind of prepaid cards yes, and gift cards. Yes, usually right there okay. in the front. Now, the first one will be the Target gift card. Are you familiar with Target gift card? Yes, I know Target. 
Okay, so you have to get the one which is written five hundred dollars on it, not the one that is written two hundred, hundred, or like twenty dollars, thirty dollars. Not that one. Five hundred. Okay. okay. Which is written five hundred on it. And in case if they ask you, are you on phone call with anyone? Did you receive any sort of uh, phone call regarding this and that? They just have to deny. No, I know everything. No, I'm not receiving any call or I'm not on call with anyone. I'm just purchasing this for, uh, gift for my niece or nephew or any of your family members. Hi, right, ma'am. You used to keep the gift cards in the front. Where are they now? Oh, I see him. I see him. Thank you, sweetheart. Hey there, sweetheart. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. It's just these two cards. Oh, uh, ma'am. Ma'am. What, how, how much are you putting on the cards? Um, it's... 500, right? It's two, five, it just do the, I'm doing a thousand on two Target gift cards. Ma'am, it's only, it's up to 500. No, but I gave you two cards, it's 500, it, it equals a thousand. That's, that's, I just need 500 on this one and 500 on that one. Ma'am, this is, this is a lot of money to go on a, on a gift card. Yes, I understand that. Therefore, my grandson, I just need to get the hair. One, two, three, four, five. There's 500 for that one. No, no ma'am. What I'm saying is, is but we, we are legally obligated to ask you how, but what, I hate to, I'm not trying to get in your business. Yeah, well, don't get in my business. Just give me the gift cards. But, ma'am, what I'm saying is that's a lot of money going to, you know, hold on, hold on. What are you, what are you doing? If we need a manager at aisle five. What, what? You're calling a manager? Oh, you just do your job. It's two cards at 500. Ma'am, just, we're not going to talk about it. Let me talk to my manager, and we can get it figured out. Oh, my goodness. Uh, you know what? I'm about to leave. If you don't do the two cars, I'm just going to take the money, and I'll leave. If that's really what you want to do, but listen, I'm trying to help you. We just, we just need to get it figured out. You know what? You know what? I'll stay. I'm, I'm, I'm going to wait. Yes, all right. Um, okay, we can do it. Thank you. That's all I need is just the two cards. All right, so here's 500. One, two, three, four, five. There's another 500 for you right there. All right, thank you. Thank you. You don't have to be rude. Just do what the customer asks. I'm not trying to be mean, but just do what the customer asks. No, but ma'am, we were trying to help you, is what I'm saying. We, you know, uh, there, there's a lot of stuff going on. We just want to make sure that everybody's safe, that nobody is taking money from you. That's that's it. Okay, well, I appreciate your, your hospitality. I, I really do. I appreciate it, but mind your business. Please, just mind your business. Let me go. Do you know how awkward it is to argue with yourself? And then to go back and watch you argue with yourself, <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> hey, that man was kind of rude. I'm walking out of the store and can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Please right. make sure, do, do not talk with me in front of them. Yeah, okay? Please he was do not talk with me because questions you just like had an I'm argument with them. Now they might cards. have an eye on you. They might be watching you. So just don't talk with me now. All right. Well, I'm done now. I'm getting ready to walk out of the store. But yeah, he was right. asking me questions like I wasn't supposed to. Be. Yes, yes, I hear you. I'm okay. Yes, you have a good day. He was asking me questions like I wasn't supposed to be buying gift cards. Mm -hmm. I got I got two I two Target gift cards at five hundred dollars. Okay. Okay.
great, great. You did very great. Now, uh, did you get the receipt as well? Uh, do I need the receipt? And you just need the cards, right? Well, if yeah, yeah, we have to register those cards under your name. I will help you out. Now, if you do not have received, hey, another problem. Sir, I need the, the receipt. You didn't give it to me. You were too busy being rude. What do you mean? You you know what? No, I don't have the receipt. I, I'm so sorry. I'm just gonna go it's to okay. the car. It's okay. Now, please do not talk in with me in front of them. Just come out. No, of you're the fine. Just, you're fine. Go. I just needed the receipt. That was it. It's fine. It's okay. Thank you. You did a good job here today. Be nice to your customers. Just be nice. Be a nice person. That's all you gotta do. Alright, you have a good day. Press it gently so that you won't overstress the card numbers. How far am I supposed to be scratching? See, scratch it gently, okay? Um. Oh, Don't overdo it because inside this silver panel there e there w will be numbers. Now I do not want you to over scratch oh, it goodness. and damage the numbers. I missed the cards though. So after a lot of guessing numbers, we go buy more gift cards. Oh, they have the Target gift cards here. A thousand. Oh, these target cards. That's all I need. Now, don't give me a problem like the last guy did. Just let me get them. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be rude, but I just had a bad day. Man, why, why are you so uptight? Uh, hold on. Yes, I'm at now. Talk to this man. No, 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 no. I'm not able to talk to him. Yes, yes. Uh, what, what's going on here? Hello? Hello? 
Yes, what what is going on here? She's she's very stressed out. And 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 we're just we're just trying to help. She came in with a thousand dollars. Wanted to put them on Target gift cards, and I gotta say, we've seen this before. And it's usually it's not it's usually with? not good. I'm sorry. Yeah, can you hand over the phone to her? Yeah, well, see now we're we're legally obligated to get involved whenever something like this happens. I don't we're just trying to get it figured out to help this lady. She's very stressed out. It's, it's the government that damn it, man. I just need to get this doing. Ma'am, 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 we understand. We just, we're trying to help. But if I don't need your help, I don't need it. I don't want it. Just take my money so I can go. Ma'am, that's, that's, look, I'm sorry. This is, this is my job. Why is it every time I go to buy a gift card, it turns into a problem? I don't understand. I mean, we're just we're just here to help. That's it. If you need help, we can help you. But I'm not asking for help. I'm not asking for help. Ma'am, just get just out of the tell store. Me, tell me, who, tell me who. Tell me who that is on the phone. Store. It's the Social Security Administration. They said that there was some fraudulent activity, and that I just needed to to get this. To help clear my name, they said that they had 25 banks open in my name. And there was millions of dollars in there, and I'm not a millionaire. I don't have money like that. I worked all my life for this money. And people are trying to take it from me. And I just needed to get it safe. Can you, can you just get out of the store? Ma'am, okay, listen, I'm sorry to tell you, this is a scam. We see it all the time. There's people that act like Social Security Administration. They act like Norton Antivirus. I don't know if you've ever heard of that. They act like McAfee. They act like anything that they can, Microsoft, to get money from you. That is their point. Yes, but that's... I understand that, but I was just scared. Did they take any money from you? No, they haven't taken money from me. I, I gave them two gift cards earlier. Speaking of which, why would I... Hey, why would I give you a thousand if I'm trying to secure my money? That don't make sense. You had me take out $9,000 from my bank account to secure my money, and I just gave you a 1000 Why would I do that? Why is it always the government wants to take your money? Why would I give you a $1,000? And I didn't mean to. I'm just so stressed out, but he brought up a good point. Why would I give you... A thousand dollars if I'm trying to keep See, my you are money not safe. Giving, no, you are not you are not giving me the thousand dollars. You are just registering it under your name. I we just are helping gave you. you the thousand dollars. Okay, you said that you didn't uh, uh can you see the card clearly? Ma'am. Or roll is down it because your window, roll down you your window, please. Ma'am. No, go away, please. But ma'am, ma'am, we're trying to help you. Come on, roll down the window. Please, roll down the window. Go away. I'm leaving. There's a man standing in front of my car. I can't leave. Okay, do one thing. Just to not talk with you and just leave. Go away. Damn it. Don't, why, don't do, why are they doing this? I can't take any more. Um, I can't do it. Oh. Go away.
away. Please go away. Just, just go. Just, 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 just hold your the window down. Please don't move in front from in front of that car. Don't move from in front of the car. Go away. Please move. Please. <laughs> Ma'am, ma'am, don't cry. Okay, don't cry. Let's do one thing. If I'm I here move, to help you out. I, I go, want you to I'm try. I'm hit this man. I want you to drive back home. Okay, please I can't drive back move. home. He, I'm, I'm not rolling down my window. I'm not. But I can't move yeah, because the man's in front of my car. That's that's what I'm saying. Please, please do one thing. Don't cry, please roll the roll roll, back home. Roll the window down, please. Um, I really hope that y'all appreciate my acting. <laughs> it's so hard for me to watch. It's just cringy. I feel like it. It uh, I feel like it enhances the call a little bit. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just something that I have to do. Don't laugh too hard. Go away. Ma'am, we're trying to help you. Please, just let us help. Go? What? You know what? You know, you're standing in front of my car. Whenever I go, if I hit you, that is your fault. Play with me. Oh. Hey, I'm on the road now. Ma'am, don't talk with him, just go back home. No, That's I'm, what I'm, I'm on the way home. You. That man would not move. But I'm on the way home. Okay. Hey, listen, since you're Social Security, can you just notify the police that I ran over a man? But it was only oh, because no, he, he was standing in front of my car. I don't want to go no, to jail for that. No, we cannot able to do that. We cannot able to do that because see, if we do that, then he will come and arrest you because if we notify the police, then you will think that you are All right, well, I gotta turn around criminal. then. I gotta turn around. I gotta go check on him. Turn around. I gotta go check on him. What happened? I ran over the man that was standing in front of my car, but he wouldn't move and I was scared. Ma'am, are you trying to play with me here? No, why would I joke you about that? that? This is not a you game. End that man tried... You and that man tried to play with Are you listening? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, so you and that man trying to waste my time, right? Wait, wait, let me, let me turn the car down. What did you say? I'm saying that you and that man is trying to waste my time, right? There's no man with me. I'm in the car. The man was standing in front of my car, and I didn't have no choice, but this man was knocking on my window, and then that man was standing in front of my car, so I couldn't move. I'm not joking. Right, no I'm sorry. Do one thing. Go home. Go home now. Once I'm, you reach home, let me know, I okay? I have to check on him, though. I didn't want to hurt him. Go home and let me know, all right? Hold on. I'm pulling back in. Is he all right? I'm sorry. I told you to move now. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you're okay, but I got to go. All right. He's fine. We cannot able to register that card under your name because it shows that the card numbers are incorrect. Why would it say so that? I, would... I don't know. You gave me the card number. Now you know whether it's correct or not. So what I want you to do is that I want you to go home, grab your classes, and read the card numbers clearly oh, no, no, so that we can over by the police. Going 80 and a 45. 
Sorry, I'm on the way home. I just needed to get home. I'm tired. I've had a long day. I, I'm on the phone with the Social Security Administration right now. She'll tell you. Yes, hello? Yes, Um, so you're Social Security Administration? No. She's I'm lying! She's lying! That's the Social Security! She's lying! Ma'am, tell her the truth so I don't get in trouble! <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to. That was just stupid at that point. This wasn't damn trying to get information they don't connect to your computer they're not going to send you addresses where to send stuff that was literally just because i didn't i had to redeem myself from the last one because the last one i f***ed up that one just got to where it was getting old two and a half hours on on that like uh, for a pch bait that's cool that's fun because you're getting information but ssa i mean come on they're literally just there to play with so uh anyways I hope you enjoyed that climactic ending. Climactic, climatic. Climactic. Of an action, event, or scene. Excite yep. Climactic. I hope you enjoyed that climactic ending. I mean, I don't know what to say. I mean, nothing happened during the call, but uh, we did waste two, almost two and a half hours of their time. So that was fun. Give us a little break from PCH. Give them a little break because we've been hitting them hard as hell. Um, anyways, it's Mir with Scammer Takeout. I'll see y'all.